This is an example of simplest board for ARM microcontroller. In this case, this is STM32 microcontroller, the smallest of the line, costing just under one dollar. And this is single-sided, single-layer board designed specifically to show that no rocket science is needed to uh, to power your arm. Uh, on this board we have the micro itself. We have 3.3 linear regulator and two capacitors, 4.7 microfarads, but probably 2.2 would also work. And uh, single resistor is needed, about 10 kilo ohms, uh, to to select the boot from internal flash and those LEDs with the corresponding resistors are uh, in fact optional. Uh, to program this I'm not using the full uh, JTAG uh, connector because it's just too bulky. Uh, uh, in this case uh, serial wire debug link is used which only need two pins and one more pin to allow the J-Link to send the mm, voltage of my board uh, and so I can connect uh, usual J-Link to this and it just works I have uh, tried to verify that there is no any glitches on the on the power due to the fact that I'm using only one capacitor one decoupling capacitor while the not recommends five and in fact I, I don't see any any glitches above 50 or 100 millivolt level which should be okay provided that sensitive uh, sensitive arm core is powered by internal 1.8 volt linear regulator inside this microcontroller so this board proves that you can have working arm on a single layer single sided board without any fancy routing made at home and uh, you don't need any uh, you don't need to order PCB you you can just do it at home using your iron and a laser printer and you don't need um, uh, reflow soldering or you don't need even air soldering you can solder all that using your regular solder so it's probably a good time to start looking for arm and start learning good luck there